stinks and I don't like him. These videos are not for children. If you are a children, then piss off. Hey there, I'm Vien Fuso. And recently on this channel, I spoke briefly about the show Martin. And I mentioned the fact that I wasn't really a fan of it. However, here, that doesn't seem to be the case. She left the show peacefully on her own accord and was immediately replaced by Judy Ann Elder, who some of you may recognize as Gina's mother from Martin. I, however, don't recognize her as that because I'm in a small minority of people who hated the show Martin. More on that later, don't worry. I'll get there on this channel, I promise you. And a lot of y'all lost your goddamn minds. And not only did you attack my credibility, which I mean, you know, let's be honest, I didn't really have any to begin with. I'm a YouTuber, not somebody. But some of y'all also insisted that by me not liking this one particular show, that made me racist. You know, never mind the fact that I'm a big fan of shows like The Jeffersons, The Fresh Prince, My Wife and Kids, The Parkers, The Cosby Show, Girlfriends, Half and Half, The Bernie Mac Show, The Steve Harvey Show, <gasps> Different Strokes, Keenan and Kel, In Living Color, Fat Albert and the Cosby Kids, Family Matters, The Hughleys, Flavor of Love, The Boondocks, Black Dynamite, Static Shock, The Proud Family, Mike Tyson Mysteries, and Gullah Gullah Island, just to name a few. But no, you're right. Me not liking Martin? is definitely an indication that I'm a racist. Y'all can catch me at the local clan meetings. I'll be the one with the conehead hat on, hitting on my cousin, talking about how masks are actually taking away my freedoms. The truth of the matter is, I respect my audience too much to try and pander to them with opinions that aren't actually my own. I'm not sitting up here telling you what I think you want to hear. I'm telling you how I personally feel or think. And it should in no way, shape, or form affect your own opinions about the topics I cover here. I could very easily come on here and be fictitious, but I'm not going to insult your intelligence. Uh, we, we don't do that here. Moving on from that part of the conversation, a couple of you did raise valid points telling me that Martin was a show specifically made for a demographic that I'm clearly not a part of. And you're right, that's true. I'm definitely not the target audience for this show. But again, I probably also wasn't the target audience for a lot of the other shows I just listed and I really enjoy them. Me not liking this show has nothing to do with, like, a cultural conflict or something. Though I can totally see how somebody being an outsider looking in may think that. That is a valid argument in general, but that is not the case here. The thing is, I, I should probably honestly love the show Martin. 90s to early 2000s TV shows are usually my favorite TV shows. And while I don't like Martin... I love Martin Lawrence. He was a big part of my childhood, and there was legitimately a point in my life where my two favorite actors were Robin Williams and Martin Lawrence. I loved, and I still love, the first two Bad Boys movies. A little bit afraid to watch the third one. I think they might screw it up. I, I have yet to see it. I'm socially distancing myself from that movie for the time being. I remember liking Nothing to Lose and What's the Worst That Can Happen, but to be honest, I, I don't really remember too much now in my old age. But when I was younger, I remember liking them. I liked The Black Knight, I could probably sit through that again. The first open season was overrated at the time, but highly underrated now. The movie Rebound was played on repeat in my house. In hindsight, I'm not really entirely sure why. And despite how many, many, many people feel, I still love Death at a Funeral. I don't think it was bad. I don't care what you say. And that's not even mentioning that Blue Streak still to this day is one of my all-time favorite movies. So much so that me and black friend Alan, and before anyone tries to give me shit over that, know that he chose that name for himself against my will for this very reason. I love that movie so much that me and Alan quote it regularly. Actually, you know what? Hold up. Just a second. Yo. Alan. Yo. What can you tell me about Reggie? I can tell you this. I can tell you he's <laughs> uh, by the way I, I'm I'm recording this. I, I wanted to uh use this for the uh the the video I make on why I don't like Martin. In the uh the Family Matters video I made, I I mentioned that I did not like Martin and people lost their shit. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I lost my black demographic. That's terrible. Um is it is it Martin? Or is it like the show Martin? Oh, no, no. I love Martin Lawrence. I just don't like the show Martin. See, see I can understand that. I can understand that. You know, Martin I Lawrence made Blue Streak. Are you kidding me? Of course I love Martin Lawrence. Yeah, 
But yeah, no. Uh, a, a lot of people were surprised that I did not like Martin. Where was I going with all this? Oh yeah, I, I'm a big fan of Martin Lawrence. That's the main point I'm trying to get across. Not a big enough fan to expose myself to the Big Mama's House movies, because that's, that's where I draw the goddamn line. I still don't understand this obsession Hollywood seems to have with putting black dudes in drag. It's, it's never been funny to me, and it's become a really tired trope at this point, but they'll continue it. Anyway, my point is, on paper, I should love the show Martin. And I actually really wanted to. But I think a big part of me not being so fond of this might come from the fact that, unlike a lot of fans, I didn't really grow up with the show. I don't have this sense of nostalgia for it because the first time I ever caught a glimpse of it was in 2008. And I really didn't sit down and try to watch it until 2016. There's a bunch of shows that I love now that I can acknowledge I'd probably love significantly less had I started watching them now instead of back then. That's not to say that the show is bad. I just think if you start it now, you wouldn't feel it was quite as good as you did back then. That's just my own personal opinion. But the show isn't awful. I know in these videos I usually attack the content I'm not fond of, but honestly, that's mostly for comedic effect. I don't think Martin is unwatchable. I don't think it's the worst show that's ever been created, but that's mainly because we still let Tyler Perry make shows. <laughs> So in all honesty, I don't even really hate the show Martin. It still makes me laugh, especially anything to do with Tommy. Mainly because I think we all have that one friend who doesn't have a job but has money to splurge on everything. Or we have that one friend who does have a job but we never really know what the fuck it is he does. And, you know, personally I don't ask because I'm, I'm Sicilian so uh, maybe it's best that I don't know. I also really like the Pam-Martin dynamic because again, I think that's something we can all relate to. I'm sure a lot of the guys in attendance here today, at some point in life, had a girl that they were seeing whose friends were none too fond of them. Or, if you're me, it, it happens almost every single, almost every single time. And because of that, their back and forths were a highlight for me. The show is funny. It's got jokes. It's quotable. And people still reference it to this day. I can watch a scene here and there from the show and laugh. But here's my problem with the show. It doesn't really often come across like a show. And I know how that sounds, but hear me out. The show, more often than not, just seems like a visual aid for Martin Lawrence's stand-up comedy. It felt like a Martin special as opposed to an entire series. It just doesn't seem like there's a depth behind the series like there is in other shows like The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. And I don't know, maybe it's just me as a viewer, but that kind of took away a little bit of the enjoyment for me. Again, that's just a personal thing. That's, that's me. For me, I enjoy Martin small doses. But I just thought the overall product was lacking. You know, like, like, like they had good jokes and they, they had good setups and, and situations, but as like a complete episode, I don't know, it wasn't, was, was, it wasn't all great, you know? One thing that always bugged me, though, was Martin playing his own mother. Because the show seemed to be somewhat grounded in reality. Again, somewhat. And with Martin showing up in a shitty wig and a full mustache... And now he's supposed to be a completely different character and an old woman at that? I don't know, for me it just, it really pushed my suspension of disbelief to its limit. I, I, I don't, I can't buy into this. I also don't really care for the way he portrayed his mom. It just always seemed overly energetic to a cartoonish degree. And again, it didn't seem like a real character, it seemed like a bit. As a matter of fact, when she first showed up, I was under the impression it was genuinely supposed to be Martin disguised as his mother. But it wasn't. This was a whole character unto itself. This is, this is an actual person. Just, just think about this is a, a separate human being. I think it kind of sucked. Martin was also going through a lot of his own personal demons when filming the show. And I think it really comes across in certain scenes. Again, it's not something I can fault him with personally because I know a lot of people who have been there. But it does negatively affect the quality of the show. Some people attribute it to drug use. Others attribute it to him losing his passion for what he did. And if it's the latter, then uh, I've been there myself. You become like a creative zombie. The man just looks checked out. And it's like he's going scene to scene on autopilot. Another thing I think a lot of y'all are going to disagree with me on, and I'm sure you're going to disagree with me on, and the only reason I know this is because I've seen a lot of people talk about the chemistry between Gina and Martin, but like, 
were we watching the same show? Their interactions almost always came across as really fake to me. I don't know, I just, I, I never really bought them as a couple, and I'm genuinely surprised when I see them show up in memes as couple goals. Or just random posts of that nature, because when I watch the show, it just seemed like they were forcing their relationship. I don't know, I got the feeling that the two didn't really like each other, and if they did, then it, it just, it wasn't like that. And when I voiced this to Alan, he started typing away at his computer like a madman before responding, Oh, you wanna know why that is? And that's where I got this information. Apparently, the two actors seemed to have a lot of problems with each other around the time the show was being made. There was even once a lawsuit filed. I'm not going to add any detail on that front, if only because the past is the past, and the two actors seem to be on relatively good terms today and speak highly of each other, so there's no reason to dig that skeleton up uh, out of its casket. It, it, we're going to leave it there. But at the time, for whatever reason, there was an issue between the two. And I think it really comes across in the later seasons of the show. Especially in the last season where she's missing for like a good chunk of it before finally returning for the last two episodes. It doesn't flow like real life would flow. And that's what you want with shows. You want them to, to, to flow. You want there to be a, a reason for everything. And in that last season, you could just, you could tell that there was a lot going on outside of the show itself. I don't know, I just kind of think that this temporarily handicapped the series. And I think it undoubtedly further affected its quality. I would even say that this situation probably heavily contributed to the show's end. And I want to say this now, I haven't sat down and watched Martin to completion. I haven't watched season 1 through 5. I haven't seen every single episode. I'd be lying to you if I said I did. I've seen episodes from season 1. I've seen episodes from season 2, season 3. I've seen some episodes from season 4, not a lot. And I saw a good chunk of season 5. I would say I've probably seen at least half of season 5. And I gotta say, just with that information, I think there was a serious decline on the show. The first three seasons were good in terms of what the show was, but those last two were pretty rough to sit through. The last two seasons of the show just lacked the passion and energy that the first three seasons did. And you could kind of tell that the train was coming to a stop. Everything about the show that worked suddenly stopped working. Don't even get me started with the new creepy intro. Just stop it. Just get that shit out of here, all right? This is supposed to be a goddamn comedy show. This is nightmare fuel. I don't need to talk to my therapist about anything new. I, they already got the hands full. The show was headed downhill real fast. And I don't know too many people who would actually disagree with me on this, at least. But you know what? All these complaints I have are just off the top of my head. It's been a couple of years since I've seen Martin. I'd be down to give it another shot, and if it'd be of interest to you, let me know in the comments section below. I mean, because let's be honest with each other here, I've watched much worse shit here than, than the show Martin. But with that being said, I thank y'all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. I'm the Clown Prince of Crime, and that was the Prince of Personality, the Infuso. Or so he says. So if you like the words that came out of his mouth hole and you too want to become a V-tard, don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow the man on Twitter, because it's not stalking if it's on the internet after all. <laughs> Join the fun by joining the Discord. If for some strange reason you want to show support, and I don't know why you would, and if you have a dollar to spare, head over to the SIJW's Patreon, where you can request videos, get exclusive content, and early access to scheduled videos. Or head to his PayPal, where you can buy the shirts. Oh, aren't those lovely? And just remember, if you're not tuning in, you're missing out. Yeah, yeah. Ah!